new project vehicle 07 Dakota I'm working on the brake lines right now I already got this one off as you can see seen better days um, I'm gonna use my cheap Chinesium line because that's what I have right here keep it budget so I'm gonna show you how to flare there we go I'm gonna hope this works uh, first thing you're gonna want to do don't forget to put your fitting on the line. I've done that a lot and I've had to cut it off and reflare it. And I, do, I like this knife, this cheap knife. But if you previously cut it, cut the line, you gotta take the burr out of there, the lip. So now that's that. Double flare tool. This cheap one. And I'm just gonna get close. And they all have fittings in. Hopefully you can see that. For 316th line. You want your depth right. it'll be the, the width of the head here set your depth and you're gonna tighten it down now this lovely Chinese garbage I mean great stuff really got to crank it this is supposed to be nine cop wire well, I got a brake line. Yeah, right. And if you have your burr out of there pretty good, it has a nipple on it. Slips in. Piece over. Clamp. You're going to tighten it up. Hopefully, it didn't push it out. I think it did. It likes to do it with this stuff. If you use a good, good NICOP wire, well, NICOP brake line, aluminum brake line, it won't do that. Now, where's my pliers? Right, it actually didn't push it. You can see it gave it its first bubble. Let's see if you can see that. Give its first bubble. So now you got the piece out, and you got the first bubble. Flat back over it. There's a name for it. I don't know it offhand. Here you got to tighten it up again. Yeah. And. Clamp it down once again. It's going to give you your double flare. Loosen up. Take the piece off. Loosen. Get your clamp off. Trying to get the focus in here. Now, let's see here. There we go. Now you can see the double flare. And I have my fitting on. Well, I think I messed up on the recording, but anyway, on the bend. Get yourself one of these cheap benders. They work all right. I generally do it by hand. You can work and manipulate it with your fingers. So that's all I did for this. Just mimic what was originally there. So hopefully you got something out of this. And as if this is a 
new daily driver for me there, 07 Dakota. Traffic going right by the side of the road, like anybody else would do, right in their driveway. Um, I picked this up at auction, and so I can pull my other red beast off the road. I got framework and body mounts and everything else to do on that. Okay, that was the double flare line. Um, double flare. Now, up top of the master cylinder, that actually has a bubble flare. And the difference between... Well, let's see if I can show you here. Here's a double flare. This is actually a 45 right inside here. It's a 45. And then it's rolled inside of itself. So there's actually two layers inside here. Now, a bubble flare. Let's see if you can see it. This right here is a 90. And then if, if you can see it, instead of being this lip right here, being rolled in which would make it a double flare it's not so it's a 90 and it's kind of bulged out right there and it's not rolled inside of itself so that's a bubble flare now I should be able to use how yeah, to cut the line I have a couple different cut cutters this is the most common cheapest one you'll find hey shocks and struts are here I'll be right back Look, shocks and struts. Excellent. Now, ah, get back to cutting the line here. And mess more of this out of the way. I already gave myself a mark so I know where to go. See if I can find it again. Yep, oh, it's up here. I thought I was not a mom. I'm not freaking blind, but anyway. Line up with your mark, snug it, and a fair, fair bit snug. I give it a couple rolls, give maybe a quarter turn, a couple more rolls. You'll feel it ease up. And you just keep repeating that. So if you got the NICOP, it's so much easier to work with. There we go. And she is cut. Now you'll see that the lip there. That's what I said about taking a knife. And cleaning out that lip, so we'll do that. We'll make this up and we'll go from there. Look, I didn't take my own advice. Forgot to put the damn fitting on. But anyway, you flip that around and you'll get your bubble flare. Okay, hopefully I'm in the picture here and update. That did not work for my standard threading tool or flare tool. It did not work to do the bubble flares. Bubble flares seem to be metric on the Dakota anyway, so I had to go out and buy a new kit. And it's pretty simple. Works about the same as that one does, except the fitting screws inside there and you only do one press with it and you'll set it up the exact same way press it down and that's all there is to it so 
give you an update. I had to go out and buy that this morning because my piece didn't work for me. And well, of course it leaked. I had to rip shit back apart. Thank you.